James Gallo in the Golden West Trailer and Equipment Broadcast booth as we head downstairs for the Mad Creek Coaches Show with assistant coach Scott King. Uh, Scott, to me, the one word that I wrote down tonight was moments. Do you feel as though Moose Jaw had moments but couldn't seize their opportunities in those chances, whereas Winnipeg, the veteran team that they are, were able to finish on those drives? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, we had a couple of close calls there early, uh, you know, maybe get one first few minutes, maybe it changes the look of the game a little bit, but uh, like you said, they're a pretty opportunistic team and uh, anytime you can make you pay and, uh, you know, hockey is a game, small, fine details. And uh, if they're not sharp and they're not good against good teams that can expose you. And I think with Winnipeg, you know, once they get a couple, uh, you know, the game gets real hard. Uh, they keep coming with waves. So uh, whatever it is, what it is, and we'll just move forward to tomorrow. It's uh, the biggest game. How hard does, sorry, Scott, again, that, that, the pressure for the Winnipeg guys, very tough, you know, defensively, how hard do they make it to defend off their rush? Yeah, they're, they're a quick team. Um, you know, they kick pucks out, they drive through, they find late guys, uh, uh, they converge the net hard and, you know, as much as they've got skill and they, they create some really, you know, nice goals at the end of the day, they're also a hard working team that gets the net and creates a second, third opportunities. And, you know, they're not afraid to drive and get there and, and hammer and rebound. So, um, you know, they're, they're a real good team. Uh, I really believe they're the, uh, the best team in the league this year. They're they're a hard team to play against. They make you earn everything, and uh, you know this is one of those things where if you maybe get one early, it's, it changes the uh, the start of the game a bit. But they're just one of those teams that if, uh, if they get a couple on you, they can they can smell blood a little bit, and uh, you know it's going to be a long night. I do want to focus on a positive. How about the special teams tonight, Scott? You go one for three on the power play, and that pen of the kill very sharp tonight for the Warriors. Uh, even thinking some offensive opportunities, uh, limited chances for for Winnipeg on the man advantage tonight. Yeah, did a good job, uh, you know, ragged pucks and uh, took their time making the clears. And when they did, they were aggressive up ice, like you said, trying to, to create some opportunities. That was that was a really uh, bright spot for, for our group, for sure. Um, so, like you said, we'll take some positives uh, out of that. But, uh, you know, we got a, an important game tomorrow against Prince Albert. And uh, last I looked, they were up on Regina. So, uh, no easy nights in this league. Uh, but as far as tonight goes, I think it's one of those ones where you just have to get over it as quick as you can, put it in the rearview mirror, and get on with the next one. Magri Coaches Show with assistant coach Scott King. Thanks for joining us, Scott. Uh, good luck tomorrow against the Prince Albert Raiders. Hey, thanks, James.